I would never have signed the National Defense Authorization Act allowing for you and I as U.S. citizens to be arrested and detained without being charged. This is why we fought war. Panopticon with General Baxter. General? Son. Good to have you back again with us. Explain why the state is spying on us. My fellow Oceanians, as you know, we've always been at war with Eurasia. Or is it East Asia? Either way, it's war and we need division to wage it. But now the proles are connecting online by passing these illusory divisions of race, religion, and nationality. Sounds grand to me. It's a catastrophe. Centuries of hard work are being undone. Profits are vanishing. And it's due to the internet. It's empowering humanity. We need to get this snafu one to control rapidly. How? Behold the latest weapon in the war of terror. Our greatest invention since 9-11. Guaranteed to keep us free and safe forever. I give you the surveillance state, ladies and generals. Our secret wires log your key style. Monitor every single number on your speed dial. Rewind straight to your position with facial recognition and pinpoint you within .03 of a mile. We've put eyes everywhere without consulting you. Keeping you safe whether or not you want us to. Soon there'll be no freedoms left for threatening. Then we'll have won the war. Take that terrorism. Brilliant. I'm going to be the only candidate that does not want to bomb Iran. I'm going to be the only candidate that wants to get out of Afghanistan now. Bring the troops home. Stop our military interventions. I am outraged, outraged by politicians that beat their chest against the terrorist threat and that comes at a cost of tens of thousands of innocent people being killed in foreign countries and it results in our men and service women coming back in body bags or with their limbs blown off. This has to stop and it has to stop now. Why weren't we informed about this? Sorry we didn't tell you about our grand plan before. It was meant to be a surprise, under wraps in a store. But some sports sports had to go and ruin it for all by so blowing whistles. Of the Thanks, George Torwell, for manifesting direct from this memory hole of history to impress on us these messages. We're told we need safety, which is precious, yes. But can a society that can enforce all its laws ever progress? Hindsight shows that many figures guilty of thought crime turned out to be luminaries and heroes before their time. But if a surveillance state had reigned then in this form and design, just Think of all the progress we may have all been denied. Could lobbies for women's or gay rights have appeared and thrived? Would revolutionary ideals have materialized? Would science have pioneered or even survived if every word had been monitored by thought police and spies? Big Brother brings chilling effects, freezing our collective hopes. He doesn't protect our safety, but protects the status quo and threatens this internet, the one channel yet uncontrolled, whose openness we are now called upon to effect and uphold. Stop the spending. Let's end the war by the Constitution of the United States. There is a growing police state in this country. Let's stop this growing police.